hanging jellyfish airplane decoration, but you don't have the sea urchins to do so. Well, keep watching because I'll be showing you an alternative to do this. Yeah! Hi guys, let's Valencia here again on another to launch a Tuesday for the Ali Grown Garden by Elongomi. <laughs> I uploaded a DIY video on how to make a jellyfish air plant decoration using sea urchins. Under the sea, under the sea, darling, it's better. What are the, am I gonna get a copyright for this for singing that song because it's like uh, Disney? You can still watch it by clicking on the link on the descriptions below. But for whatever reason, like I said earlier, if you don't have sea urchin shells, I was able to discover an alternative for this. You can still make your jellyfish hanging jellyfish airplane it just look as cool if you don't have the shells you can use styrofoam balls that's what you call them right styro balls I mean they're cheaper and you can buy them almost you know in any department stores or school supply centers you can buy them anywhere they are also in garden centers. You can find them there too. It's, they're easier to find than sea urchin shells. You can customize them easily and yeah, and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and do the thing, do the reason why you clicked on this video. <laughs> so let's just go ahead with the DIY tutorial. Let's go. Now we're gonna gather the materials that we need for this DIY tutorial. So first up, we've got your styrofoam ball. So the size of this would depend on, of course, the size of the air plant that you're gonna use. So I've got here a small one. This is 120 millimeters. I think this is in diameter. And this other one is quite bigger. It's 150. So yeah. Next is your spray paint. You don't necessarily need to use a spray paint. You can use um, other coloring materials like uh, ordinary paint or um, watercolor. I don't know, it's up to you. <laughs> but personally, I use spray paint because it would give a texture on, a certain texture on your styrofoam ball because of the material in the spray paint and because of the styrofoam it kind of melts it you know and it gives this certain shape to it a certain texture i'll show you later after this i just can't explain it quite well you know i'm not really good at terminologies and science and stuff and why does it have to be black i don't know it's just my personal preference you know black for me goes with everything so it depends on you you can use other colors as well next you need your tools such as your scissors or and your knives or whatever sharp objects that you've got there for you to use to cut your styrofoam balls and uh, other things that you need to be to cut next one you also need a stick what are we going to do with this stick i'm going to show you later it's not really necessary but i don't know for me it is i'm going to show you later yeah just keep it handy next one is of course your airplane so this one the airplane that i'm going to use for this tutorial is a tilancha junsea this is actually an xxl size tilancha it's quite it's quite big actually so this one is currently uh, almost 21 inches long so 21 inches long so that's why i'll be using the bigger styrofoam ball that i have here because this is quite good the next one that you need is your string okay so um, it depends on you and what kind of string you're going to use but for me i'll be using a nylon string because like i said in our previous tutorials i like it when the airplane decorations are hanging in the air like it's floating or something so if you don't want to mess around your workspace if you want to keep it clean and order, order, orderly, what the fuck is that? And orderly, you should use a newspaper or anything that would cover up your, to recover your workspace and not leave some stains. Okay, so let's start. First thing that you're gonna do is peel off labels and price tags. 
the first thing that you're going to do is to mark a circle on your um, styrofoam ball. So this would depend again on the size of, of your air plant. You should take that, you should always take that into consideration. So there. All you need now is to cut it. If you have a cutter, I think a cutter is more effective for this kind of thing. But I don't have a cutter, so yeah. So that's it. I've successfully made a hole in this thing. So now for the spray paint. So if you're using a spray paint like I do, you need to be careful when spraying it because this thing here melts styrofoam material. Make sure that you're spraying it evenly, the entire thing. So, here goes something. Oh fudge, I forgot. You need to wear gloves. Just gonna have to wait until it dries off or whatever you're using to color it it's already dry then you can proceed to the next step so when it's dried up already you check if the color is evenly distributed or if you're satisfied with it, with what you've done but if not okay like mine here as you can see here at the center there's a line doesn't look cute so if you if you used a um, uh, spray paint too and if you're seeing something like this you can use a marker or any coloring material the same color that you use and kind of cover that up yeah, yeah, yeah. now it looks a lot better okay so take a look at this this is what I meant earlier when I said that it's better if you use spray paint well in my own preference it's better if you spray paint because it would give uh, the styrofoam ball this kind of texture if you want to bedazzle it some more you can do that you can add some glitter on it or some silver dust or if you want you can add other effects if you want to an important thing to remember is that when you're making your decorations for your air plants you have to consider that I mean you have to remember that your air plants need um, enough airflow because if there's not enough, enough airflow your air plants will die you know hence the name air plants it needs air so make sure that the container that you're using and displaying your air plants would not um, trap in moisture because that would cause, cause your air plants to rot and at the same time would have um, enough air circulation so that your air plants won't dry out. So, you can you can use it to bedazzle your your jellyfish head to make it look old. No, to make it look like it has seaweed on it. I don't know, yeah, I know it's not really realistic for a jellyfish to have seaweed on it, but yeah. So here, that's what I did right here. So, ta-da! Looks like grim. It's like a bit Halloween-y, but yeah. That's what I'm aiming for. Okay. So let's see how it would look like with our cilantro. Now it's time to tie our air plant to our jellyfish head. For you to hang your air plant together with your air plant head, you have to tie it around. You have to get your string and tie it on. It, put it around your tilancha like this on the base. You have 
to attach the ends of the string into each hole of the jellyfish head that we made. And then you'll have to tie both ends like so. You have to tie them together so that you'll be able to hang your new jellyfish airplane. Make sure it's tight and secure. So now your jellyfish airplane is ready for showtime. That's it. That's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Put your thoughts in the comments down below. And I hope I'm gonna see you on the next one.